What were you thinking so deeply about? None of your business. <sighs> Don't tell me you're thinking about that beautiful married like woman. Like I again. said, none of your damn business. It is my business when my partner becomes obsessed over a woman. You become unreasonable and dangerous. Wait, is that why you love with this case? Because this originally belonged to Harry. Me? Yes. Unreasonable? Yes. Look at what happened the last time you were in love with that girl at the Breeze restaurant. Sophie, I was never in love with her. You were never in love with her? You nearly shot your partner because he kissed her. He is an annoying person. I know. But this is disturbing. When my partner is thinking about a woman, especially somebody's wife. I went to see her yesterday. You did what? And she was glad to see me. I don't like this. You don't like what? Can you just let that woman be? She's somebody's wife. So? She's a married woman who might have fallen out of love with her husband. And she's looking for true love. Take my advice, friend. Can you even hear yourself? What do you have to offer her? She's beautiful. Her husband is handsome. He has money. What do you have? And you know that. What makes you suggest? What makes you think that? Because we've been to the house. We've seen the house. I've seen his pictures. You have nothing to offer her. I don't need anyone to tell me. All I am saying is plain to see if you are being truthful to yourself. You see that lady? She's going to be my wife. And you know me. Impossible? It's not in my dictionary. Yes, I know you. You're delusional.
Thank you very much, madam, for the information. I can assure you that we will get to the root of the matter. Sexual assault or me is a crime that's not the right. Thank you so much for coming by. The police is your friend. We will always come by. We'll be in touch. Sleeping in this house has become a scary experience for me. He was overpowered and tied to a rope. Mm -hmm. You know, I keep wondering how this intruder got himself into the compound. But what I do know is that I hurt him badly. Yes. No, I am scared. I fear that he might come back for vengeance. Although I've made a report at the station. Somebody's at the door. I don't know. Uh, it, it is 10 p.m. Who would want to visit me by this time of the night? No, I am not expecting anyone. Uh, let me call you back, okay? Um, I'm coming. Good evening. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I think you recognize me from the police station. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I've been personally assigned to your case to make sure you're safe as well. The guy handling my case. That's right. You're are welcome. You, are you okay? Well, after that attack, I have not been myself. I am even scared of my shadows now. And then my husband is still not here back. Well, I can assure you there's nothing to worry about. Like I said, I've been personally assigned to your case, so I will keep an eagle eye on you, keep a watch over you. Is that said and done? I sleep alone in this big house every night. Like I said, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, I'm only a phone call away. You call me and I can be here in two minutes. All right? Okay. Thank your you. Your case, since you reported it, we've actually launched an investigation to apprehend the preparation. And your security guard, we've taken him in for questioning, you know, to help us with the investigation. Thank you so much, but it's still not easy. You know, I keep thinking about how this intruder got himself in this compound without any awareness. And then no one saw him. No one even caught him. You know, if you want, I could come here before you sleep to make sure you're okay. That works for you. Oh, no, 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 that won't be necessary. But look, I really do appreciate everything. I feel reassured now. Okay. But I can call you every night before I go to bed. At least that will help. Please. I'll, I'll be fine. Ah, thank you so much. Ah, where is my manners? Please sit. Thank you. Ah.
Wow. Here. Thank you. This will warm you up. It's a cold night. Mm. So how long will you guys be stationed there? We'll be here through the weekend. I guess your husband should be back by then. Oh, uh, yeah, he should. You know, why don't you take self-defense classes to protect you against next time? Self-defense class? Yeah. <laughs> that guy is strong. And look at me, I am powerless. It's all about size. If you know the skills, you can take down a giant. Is it possible? Of course. If you have any class for it, just tell me, I will enroll. I teach self-defense in my police station. I could teach you. You do? Yeah. Wow, how so fortunate it is for me. Please, I need you to teach me. My husband will pay you anything. If you don't have to pay me, I will teach you for free. You are kidding me right now. No. Damn, you are God sent. Oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. What were you thinking so deeply about? None of your business. <sighs> Don't tell me you're thinking about that beautiful married like woman. Like I again. said, none of your damn business. It is my business when my partner becomes obsessed over a woman. You become unreasonable and dangerous. Wait, is that why you lobbied this case? Because this originally belonged to Harry. Me? Yes. Unreasonable. Yes. Look at what happened the last time you were in love with that girl at the Breeze restaurant. Sophie, I was never in love with her. You were never in love with her? You nearly shot your partner because he kissed her. He is an annoying person. I know. But this is disturbing. When my partner is thinking about a woman, especially somebody's wife. I went to see her yesterday. She did what? And she was glad to see me. I don't like this. You don't like what? Can you just let that woman be? She's somebody's wife. So? She's a married woman who might have fallen out of love with her husband. And she's looking for true love. Take my advice, friend. Can you even hear yourself? What do you have to offer her? She's beautiful. Her husband is handsome. He has money. What do you have? And you know that. What makes you suggest? What makes you think that? Because we've been to the house. We've seen the house. I've seen his pictures. You have nothing to offer her. I don't need anyone to tell me. All I am saying is plain to see if you are being truthful to yourself. You see that lady? She's going to be my wife. And you know me. Impossible? It's not in my dictionary. Yes, I know you. You're delusional. All right. You got to distract first, so you. And you strike. Okay. Huh? Okay. So, ha ha! Yeah. Ha! Bravo! Wow. <laughs> With those moves, you can 
knock off the head of a giant. The head of a giant? Yes. Really? Really. <laughs> but this, if you remember what I taught you, you should be able to defend yourself against anyone. Uh, but you just taught me a few moves. Uh, those few moves can stop anyone, even an experienced fighter. Wow. Just remember to hit them at the lower, underneath the throats, at the abdomen, okay. and knee them, and the toss and the toss and their groin, or you poke oh. them in the eye. Oh. Oh, wow. The points, they'll stop anyone, no matter how strong or big they are. Okay? Wow. Any attacker will underrate you because you're a woman. Just remember to hit hard. Don't hesitate. You can't go. You can't go halfway. You gotta go full force. Okay. But what if I hurt them badly? Like injured them really bad? Well, no court is gonna prosecute you for defending yourself against somebody who actually comes into your home. Really? Yeah. Just remember that when you hit them, then you gotta hit them down the way they stay down. You don't them getting up and attacking you with a weapon. Thank you so much. Look, I feel I owe you a whole lot. It's okay, you don't owe me anything. I just want to make sure a beautiful lady like you is safe. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. All right. Gonna... Sweet. You move that there and strike. Oh, okay. All right? Okay. Then you want to make sure your knees are like that. Yeah? This way? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Guess what? He told me that he's going to give you the contract to supply all the six materials for the company. He's going to give me? He's going to give me? Ah! Oh, thank God. I'm so happy. He was like, oh, yeah, Michelle, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, okay. And done you. How about the government contracts? Ah, uh, I couldn't see the boss. He was busy meeting and stuff. So, wow. nothing positive from that front. But, I am sure you're going to get a job. I understand that you don't to get back to some piece of work and talk about all these all this issues, all these cases and stuff. It's okay. So you need to come out there and share. Are you going to share with me? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, I'm going to fix something for you. So wow. Don't worry about that, okay? All right, we'll talk about that later. Right. No, leave your bag. Come on. Really? Get it for you. Okay. Let's go. Up, up. Policeman who's been watching over me, remember? Oh, yeah. hi! Nice to finally meet you. Thank you so much. I've heard so much about you. Thank you so much. I, thank you for protecting my wife while I was away. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah I was only doing my job. Yeah, I mean, if every policeman was like you, this whole town, this world would be a safer place. <laughs> and then she believes she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> I agree. Arrest me, my yeah. crime. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, I had a security guard, and since you guys let me go, I paid him off and asked him to leave. Please, sis, sis, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm just like, so grateful for you. I mean, 
<laughs> Not only did you protect her, you also taught her some Jedi skills. <laughs> you know, in this day and time, it's important for women to learn stuff. Wow, okay, well. <laughs> you taught her skills that she can use to beat up her husband. <laughs> no, it's not funny. I mean, what if we have an argument and she starts to you know, mess me up? What do I do? Then she doesn't love you. Come on, it's not about that. I mean, you can love someone, but that doesn't mean you're not going to fight. True. I mean, I could teach you the moves I showed her, and then you could counter those moves. I'm sure you how to counter those moves. Help me out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I mean, even if you taught me the techniques, it was too weird because I'm, I'm fat and slow now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I actually wasn't expecting any guests today. But I could fix something for you to eat. Or maybe something to drink. No. I drink. I drink. Okay, okay. So, no, I mean, do you ever get this kind of thing? Oh, yeah? Hello? Hi. Who's this? Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? How, how are you and the family? She's doing good, she's doing good. <laughs> no, <clears throat> I uh, I don't think that would ever happen. No, come on, my wife is not violent. No, no, there's there's no need for that. Don't worry. Gosh, no, no. Okay, fine. I'll I'll, I'll join you. Just tell me to have a place. Okay. All right, I'll be there. All right, bye. Hey, how long will it take you to finish a glass of drink? No, no, what, 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 what happened? What do you mean? How did I end up sleeping here last night? I should be asking you. What, 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 what are you, what are you talking about? You said I'm feeling good and suggested that you wanted to pass the night here. <sighs> okay, okay, that is impossible. Okay, that cannot happen. <sighs> That was exactly what I told you. But you started gushing at how much you liked me and how much you wanted to sleep with me. Well, I tried to resist you, but you were too strong. You know, that drug weakened me. I stopped fighting you because 
I like you and uh, you helped me out last night, okay. you know? Okay. That is impossible. All right. That cannot happen. There's nowhere I could have said that. Uh, you know, you were so, so good. <laughs> but you spoiled everything when you started calling me your wife's name during the arts. Okay, 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 okay. That, uh, let me stop you right there. Okay, that is a lie. All right, because I don't know how... You drugged me. You drugged me. You drugged my drink last night. Listen, if anything happens to me, you are going to pay daily for it, okay? Because you don't know who you're messing with, all right? I don't have to listen to your rubbish. Get out of my house. If I get infected with any disease, I'll hold you wait, responsible. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Infe it needs protection. Well, I have a choice when you practically raped me. Okay, stop saying that, okay? You drugged me. Get out of my house! Hey, what happened to you yesterday? I waited for you, but you never showed up. What happened? What happened? What do you need? You want me to lie to your wife? What do you want me to say? Surprised to see you in one piece. One piece? I don't, I don't understand why. Why? Why wouldn't I be in one piece? Oh God! Oh. Because I fear that something so terrible must have happened to you to make you not to come back home last night. And the worst of it all is that you never called to explain. Babe, babe, babe. Something terrible did happen. Okay. How dreadful can it be when you look so fine? In fact, you looked like you had the time of your life last night. Babe, I was with Deji. I told you that. Okay, I told you I was going out with Deji. You said you'd be gone for just one hour. Yeah. Okay. You, I mean, you know how it is when boys get together, when they were just drinking and chilling at the bar, and then, and then out, out, out of nowhere, you know, this, 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 this gorilla guy just starts attacking this innocent young girl. I had to intervene. You know, I'm an advocate for peace. I had no idea the guy was a professional fighter. I mean, he just, you know, punched me right in the jaw. The next thing, I, I passed out. Deja and his friend had to take me to the hospital and I, I spent the night there. Bravo. You are such a joke. Is this the lie you cooked up to feed me? Babe, please, okay, I am not lying. When have I ever lied to you in this marriage, huh? No, it takes just one day for people to change. You know, I kept wondering why you stayed so long in Abuja than you said you would. Of course. You're going to bring that up. Okay, you know, it hurts me that you don't believe me when I have not given you any reason to doubt me in this marriage. You know what? I'll call DJ. No. No, 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 you can talk to him. I'm not going to talk to him. Well, you have to. Well, of course you know I wouldn't talk to him. Okay, it's fine. Just wait. I'll call him. Hello? Yeah, bro. Hope you're 
Yeah, yeah, man. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm just finally in. Yeah, look, thank you so much, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what will happen if you guys were not there. Yes, yes, I did. You know, don't interfere in people's businesses. I got it. What? Why? Why? Why would she say that? Well, yeah, I guess I'm an idiot. I, I've learned my lesson. Anyway, look, thanks, man. I'll call you later, okay? Still here. Thank you. Are you happy now? What? Did she wrestle you? Did who wrestle me? The girl. Those lipstick stain on your shirt tells a different story. There was a girl there, obviously. John. This lipstick stain did not come from fighting. It came from loving. Babe, please, okay? Don't be ridiculous, okay? She jumped me, all right? She, she attacked me for getting involved with her boyfriend, and, and that, that's when the guy, you know, just, just had a chance to punch me. You no. said she did not fight you! She, she didn't literally fight me, but you know how a fight is. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a fracas, and, you know, a million of things. And, in a fight, the lipstick stain would be smudged. And not a nice print. It looks like the girl lovingly kissed you instead of fighting you. Don't be ridiculous, okay? So what, so what now? Calling me a liar? No. I, I am using my common sense. Use yours and see if you believe yourself. Wow. Okay. So, 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 now, so now I'm stupid. Right? You're, 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 you're supposed to be guessing me like, you know, like some kind of heat bomb. You know, like ice. Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm on my way. Bye. I'm off to work. May I help you? This is John's house, isn't it? Yes, it is John's house. Is it in? Who is looking for John? Joy, his lovely friend. <laughs> Joy, his friend, from where? Joy, his beloved girlfriend is here to see him. Girlfriend? Yeah, girlfriend. You know what that means, don't you? Uh, look, you don't have to be fresh with me here. Frankly, I'm being silly here. I should have asked you what you're doing in my boyfriend's house. Forgive me. I am his wife. W-I-F-E. Wife. What? Wife? He told me he's single. He said what? Why would I show up at his doorstep knowing that he has a wife? Oh, look, look, look. I don't believe you. I know John. John will never say a thing like that to you. Oh, believe whatever you want. Tell him I'm done with him and I don't want him to ever show up his face in my house again. 
Here is his wallet. I hate liars and adulterers. I see we both hate the same thing. I hate liars and adulterers too. Take heart, my dear. It's your husband. Not for long. Honey, you liar. How could you do this to me? You are a green snake in the grass. In fact, you're the devil himself. You know what? I regret ever marrying you. What? What? Slow down. Slow down. Why are you screaming? Just talk to me normally. Why, why are you shouting? Oh, shut up. Shut, shut your mouth, you eagles. Shut up. I'm done. I am true. I am true with this marriage. Hello? Hello? Okay, just, 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 calm, just calm down. Calm down and tell me what the problem is. Just talk to me. Where is your wallet and your wedding ring? My, my ring, I um. You, I, 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 you what? Son, it hurts me so much that I trusted you. I, 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 I lost it. I can give my life for yours. And this is how you want to pay me? I am not lying. I, 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 I lost it during, during the fight. There was no fight! I knew everything that happened to Jackson. What are you talking about? There was, there was a fight. I, 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 Who is Joy? Joy? Tell me the truth! Who is Joy? And what that is? Where did you get these from? Your beloved girlfriend brought this to me. Mimi, girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. The what one you spent the night with. The same girl you told her you were still a single man. Huh. Gosh. 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 Your lies have caught up with you. Okay, okay, I lied. Oh, I lied, but listen. Lied. Listen, no, babe, babe, listen to me. Listen. Get your hands off my back. Listen to me. Now! You need to give me a chance to explain myself, okay? Oh, please. please. Explain yourself. Look, there's nothing to explain because it's been proven that you are a liar and a cheat. She is not my girlfriend. Oh, really? She's, she's the girl that I helped, all right? I, I, I helped her. She, 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 she was drunk and drugged and they almost raped her. And I, and I, and I helped her and, 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 I, and I took her home. I'm listening. You took her home, and then what happened? And, and then she offered me a drink. Okay, out of solidarity, I don't, I don't know, I, and, I, and I drank it. And what happened? I have no idea. Okay, I, 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 I think the drink was drunk because I, I woke up the next day, I, I passed. Drunk? Yes. Why will a girl drug a guy who rescued her from a rapist? Why? It doesn't add up to me. Okay, but 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 this is this is why I couldn't tell you because I knew you wouldn't believe me. 
Mm. Oh yes, you knew I wouldn't believe you. And you know why that is? Because I want nothing to do with you again. Babe, babe, okay, just just don't make any rash decisions, okay? Just just calm down. Let's go upstairs, please. You're making me do this. I, all right, I know, but, but just let me get to the bottom of all this, okay? I'll fix this. Even if my late parents should come alive, there is nothing they will say to me to make me sleep under the same roof with you. Okay. No. Okay. Hate me if you must, all right? But, but just don't leave, okay? Where are you going to go? Do you think I don't have men? Hovering around me. Do you think? You will be shocked. I hate seeing the sight of your face. Okay, okay, babe, just, just don't go. Just, just listen. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll move out of the house for you. All right, I'll move out. But please stay. Okay, please. Let me just, let me just, let me just fix all of this. Look, you know me. I am not a lie. I'm not a cheat. Somebody set me up. Okay, somebody, 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 somebody's just trying to set me up. I need to figure this out. Please, come on, let's just go back upstairs, please. As long as I don't have to see her face again. Come on, pull yourself together, man. You don't understand. Okay, I love my wife. I love Michelle. Well, at least she's still in the house, so really and truly, it can't be that bad. I know her. Once she shuts the door to something, that's it. She doesn't open it again. You know, regardless of what anyone says about a woman, there's always an alternative, you know? You're not helping, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I want to help. How can I help? I need you to talk to her. Talk to her about what? I don't know. Just anything. Just explain to her. You know, you making it look as if she's your life, your bread and butter. She means more to me than that. What about if she doesn't want you back? Frankly, I have no idea what I'll do. I just... I, I, I don't even want to think of that possibility, okay? It's not an option. All right, fine. I'll talk to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. But you got to stay away for a few days. Uh, give her time to calm down. The anger simmer down a bit, okay? Give her a few days. <sighs> fine. All right. Fine, I'll stay away as long as necessary. I'll go and see her this evening and then try and reason with her. All right, thanks, man. I owe you one. Hey, what a friend's fault. What are you? How are you generally? I'm alive, we well, thank God. You are suffering, I can see that. I hope you're not here to lie for your friend again. A lie sometimes can help a situation. Huh? I disagree. Would you have believed him if he told you the truth? The truth has some believable elements. That he rescued a girl, took her home, and in return, she drugged him. You know, I might wonder why she would do this. But the fact that the story wouldn't make much sense would have made me believe that she was some criminal who wanted to, you know, steal something from him or maybe hurt him. Well, I'm sorry I lied to you. But I promised to find her and squeeze the truth out of her. But be rest assured at least that your husband is innocent. Innocent? I doubt that. I mean, if it wasn't true, she wouldn't have comfortably come on my doorstep with his wallet and his wedding ring. Have you considered the fact that someone might be trying to break up your marriage? Who would want to do that? In my line of duty, these things happen. I have seen it happen before. Whosoever would want to do that would have a reason. Well, it could also be your husband's friends or a neighbor. I mean, for the time I've known you guys, your marriage is close to being perfect. You think so? No. There are people who would derive joy from seeing you guys break up. Wow. Yes, wow. That's why you should put your emotions aside and think with your head. Now, has your husband ever cheated on you before? Cheated? No, never. How will you describe your husband? Oh, well, just as you said, my husband is a great guy. I mean, I hardly find any fault with him. So you see, that's why you should forgive him. I mean, even the first offender, the law is not that strenuous on them. 
We don't let the devil step into your marriage. Maybe I should just call him to return home. No. No? Yes. Why no? Look, your husband might be innocent, but in cases it's been that even faithful husbands have strayed. They have even left their wives for other women altogether. Uh, what are you even saying? What now? I am saying. Your husband might be innocent, yes, but you cannot be weak now. You got to show him that cheating is not acceptable. So what do I do now? What you do is to continue to be hard on him, you know? Don't take his calls for like four to five days. Four to five? That long? It's important that you don't. It's for your own good. Have you seen him? Yeah, I'm with him most of the time. Where does he stay? He stays in a hotel not too far from my place. Does he eat well? He's fine. I feel so terrible right now. I've been so mean to my husband. Good reason. Listen, I will find this girl and I will get the truth from her. I still feel terrible. I mean, there's so many men out there who cheat and I'm not this remorseful. Listen, listen, it's very important that you don't take his calls, okay? Do you understand? It's for your own good. Okay, I promise. All I right. won't. Well, I know it's for your own good, right? Okay. All right. All right, I'll just be gone. Um, I'm so sorry I haven't had the time to cook. No, it's okay. I can see that you haven't changed the lock. Um, no, why? My goodness, what if the attacker returns and you have fired your security guard? You are home alone. Yeah, my bad. I never thought of that. You know what? I'm going to go and get a lock. Get a lock for you and I'll change it for you, okay? okay? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. You are God's sense. Hey, you're welcome. Anything for you. I'll see you in a bit, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. All done. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will continue to be indebted to you. Always. You're forever welcome. So, do you think the intruder will come back again for an attack? It is possible. But I have taught you everything you know to defend yourself. Frankly, I never wish to have to defend myself again. Unfortunately, we're living in a time when the world is a dangerous place and women are more vulnerable. You're right. Remember what I taught you? When anyone comes in, I want you to defend yourself with everything you have, with all your strength. All my strength? I could hurt him. But well, it's better to put a dangerous intruder down completely so he doesn't get a second chance to attack you. Well, I'll try. Oh. It's the utmost important you do, you know that, right? I understand. And if an intruder comes in, I want you to turn out the lights. Okay, and hide in a place where he can't see you, but you can see him. Mm? Darkness is your weapon. He does not know your house the way you know it. So it's important. The lights are off, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Makes perfect sense now. Yeah. I'm going to go. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. So, so any progress? Oh, well, she says you're an excellent husband in that she knows that you never cheated on her and that you have never cheated on her before. Thank God. And? And I advise her to take you back. So what's she say? Well, she's willing to put things behind her and start fresh. Are you kidding me? How did you do that? <laughs> nah. There you go. What's this? The keys to your apartment. She changed the locks? Yes. Why? The one that was there before was simple. That's why the intruder was able to get in. <sighs> I thought she changed them because of me. <laughs> no, she's mad, but she's not that mad. She's expecting you by 10 p.m. tonight. 10? Why, why so late? I don't know. When you get home, you can ask her why so late. <laughs> ask her yourself. Yeah. 
Look, man, this is huge, man. I don't know how I'm going to repay you back for this. Hey, come on, what friends? What are friends for? Like I said, listen, it's got to be 10 p.m. Sharp, 10 p.m. I I'll be there 9 59. No, no, no. 10 p.m. Come on. That's what she wants. Okay, okay, 10. Okay. All right, bro. Give me that. I don't want to mess up her plan, whatever plan she has for you, you know. <laughs> Now, let's take him to the hospital, please. It's too late. No, no, no. We can't take him to the hospital. Hey, 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 listen. There's nothing you or I or anyone can do for him. He's gone. He's not gone. He's not hey, dead. Hey, what is wrong with you? Stop shouting. Hey, 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 stop shouting, okay? You murdered a man. People cannot hear you. Listen to me. The penalty for murder is life imprisonment. Is that what you want? Do you want to go to prison for the rest of your life? No, I, I didn't intentionally do this. Hey, listen, the, the law don't care about that. Okay? 
I don't want you to go to prison for the rest of your life for a simple mistake. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Look, everyone knows that we are fighting with him because he was cheating he on you. He wasn't me. cheating on hey! me! Joy came here. The woman, her name is Joy, the one that came in and gave you his wallet. I apprehended her. She was seeing him. I confronted him and he actually agreed. He begged me not to tell you. I don't believe you. You want to go to the police and bring her here to you? He was cheating on you. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. There's no time for us to argue about this. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later on, but right now, listen to me right now. We have to get rid of this body. Okay? Don't worry. I will get rid of the body, okay? I will get rid of him. It's okay. No, baby. We can't win. Just do me. Don't worry. I'll, I'll take care of this. Leave me. Hey, hey, hey. I will, I will never leave you. I will, I will never leave you. I will, I will stay here and keep you safe, okay? I sent out the patrol unit to check the area, and the report was nothing. What does it mean? Listen, it's nothing for you to worry about, okay? I also made a report that you came to the station to make a complaint that your husband was missing. Listen, what you need to do now is to call your husband's friends and tell them that he's been missing since yesterday, okay? Maybe I should just turn up myself and tell the truth. But people will believe it was just a mistake. Hey, 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 hey. No, listen. Listen to me. I want you to trust me a hundred percent. Okay? Look here. I am the police. I am the law. I will get you out of this. And you will get your life back, okay? Come here. <sighs> Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. Alright. What call was that? That was just my partner. Give me an update on the case. What case? He has filed a missing person report on your husband. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Have you informed his family that he's missing? He has only one brother. No parent? His parents are late. So it'll be good for you to inform him so he can at least get the family side covered. I have spoken with him already. And when is he coming back? He stays in New York. He actually said I should inform him once the body's found. That's good. It's a good thing he doesn't have an aged mother, because that could have complicated issues. Have you eaten? Food is the least of my worries. Oh, come on. You gotta eat. I don't Keep have... up your strength. I don't have the strength to cook. It's okay. Leave that to me, okay? I'll make you something. Come on now. I want you to eat something. At least eat a little. Thank you. 
for for everything. What would I have done without you? Look, I'm here for you, and I am not going anywhere. I'm here for you emotionally and physically. Okay. I think you've done a whole lot for me already. Besides, you have your life to live. Do you know what will make me extremely happy or will give me great joy? Hmm? Seeing you happy. Please don't take that away from me. Are you married? No. See, not all of us are fortunate to meet such a beautiful and amazing woman. Come on, eat something, please. Do you want me to feed you? You like it? Me. I'm, I'm sorry. Wait a, wait a minute. I locked my door. How did you get in here? Um, I when I caught your keys, I just took a spare. Just, just. just. You what? I thought I decided. Friends, it now. is my decision to make. Please forgive me. I mean, I thought because we're friends now that. And you should never take such liberties with people. Why didn't you ask me first? I'm sorry. And it is inappropriate for you to enter my house, come into my bedroom, and then lie on my bed, you! This is my house and you are encroaching on my privacy. Listen, I'm sorry, I will not take such liberty again. Next time, I will ask you first. And I will appreciate it. Can I have my keys? Sure. Look, I... Everything I do, I do because I want to protect you. I... I, I know and... I appreciate it. Please understand. From the first time that I saw you, I have always felt this need to want to protect you. To want to keep you safe. You know, I go to bed at night thinking, is she happy? And if she's not happy, what can I do to make her happy? I have this feeling like, you're mine. I have suddenly developed this feeling towards you. One I have no control over. You're not saying anything. Okay. I like you. But as a friend, thank you. Okay, friendship is a good thing. I mean, that's where all great lovers start from. Stop it. Stop. Stop talking about love because nothing's ever going to happen between both of us. Come on now, that's an unfair thing to say. How would you say that? But I'm getting tired of you. Did you? I am tired of your attention. What? Yes, tired. You know, I keep thinking about the fact that you are bad luck to me. Why would you say that? The very first night I set my eyes on you, 
Everything around me has been shredded into pieces. I have been living in fears and I haven't even stopped crying. Come on, that's an unfair thing to say. Come on. Come on. If I hadn't listened to your advice, I would have forgiven my husband the very next day after that incident with Dragon, and my husband would be home with me, and none of this would have happened. You're blaming me for trying to help? That doesn't make any sense. I know you don't make sense, but it still doesn't stop the fact. Some people are bad luck to other people, and they didn't. I think you are bad luck to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Not something we can discuss on phone. Please, I, I need you to come. I need you to come over, please. I need you to come. Yeah, alright. Okay, okay. Just put yourself together. I will be with you shortly. Okay. I need you, sis. I, I, I need you badly. I, I need you right now. I, 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 I think I can carry. I could carry this alone. But I'm not strong. I need you. I need you. Someone is at the door. There's someone at the door. Let me check. Okay. Just stay on the line. Okay. Okay. I'm right here. Stand the line. Yeah, yeah, who's that? Yeah. I can see you still not talking to you. Well, I'm sorry. I'm actually not feeling too good. I just spoke with my sister. How is she? She's fine. She will be here shortly. What? Why? <laughs> what do you mean by what? Why? She's my sister. Besides, I shouldn't suffer through this alone. But you're not going through this alone. I'm here with you. But you're not my sister. Wow. You know something? You and Ingrid. What are you talking about? I have given you 100% of myself. And what have you given me in return? Oh. You gave me everything because you needed something. That is not the point. And what is the point? The point is, I broke the law because of you. You killed your husband and I covered it up for you. What did I get in return? Not even a hug. PG. You know, after thinking about this whole thing, it appears to me that you actually wanted my husband dead. Uh, yes. What the hell are you talking about? No, think about it, JJ. The night you came, my husband would have survived if we had taken him to the hospital. But what did you do? You insisted that he was dead and that we should dispose of his body. I was confused. I was scared. I didn't even realize what you were doing. Did you were you the reason my husband is dead. My husband would have survived. If not for you. You know, I feel so suspicious that my husband's body was never found. Who knows? Maybe it was even you who took his body somewhere and then buried it. You know, I think you've lost your sense. Oh, think about it. Have you ever asked yourself how a body will get missing without any trace. And then you call yourself what? A police detective. How? I told you the body might have been washed away by the rain or something. I don't know. That explanation holds no water. You see, something is wrong somewhere. And I think you definitely do know about it. You know, 
You're so beautiful when you're talking all this nonsense. The way your eyes flicker, your, your lips. And I wonder what you look like under that dress when you're naked. What are you talking about? Let me bust your bubble. I got interested in you when you were dating your husband, then your boyfriend. After three years, I joined the police force and I rose within the ranks because I was hardworking. And then I met you again, you and your husband. Now that I know where you both live, I will hunt both of you down like a hunter. Either I destroy this marriage, or I have your lady as my wife. You have the audacity to slap me because of a woman I'm obsessed with. Honey? Mimi? Hurry up now, I gotta go. Something's late and it wants to rain. Yes, I can yeah, take, take, take.
You followed us all first years? First long? Did you actually come back for your revenge? Revenge? No, I came back because of the scar you gave me. I take him to ravish you. you. And now I am going to take you. And when I'm finished with you, I am going to kill no. you. Do you understand? No. Crying. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy, yeah? Everything will be okay. Calm down. Relax, relax, madam. Relax. Everything is on that one. You got the good thing. So relax. On top of the situation. It's okay. It's okay, madam. Security service. He was brought in by some area boys to my hospital. And as a medical obligation to my youth, we attended to him. And I never knew he was a brother to my friend. Straight didn't die. I'm alive. smoking on the roadside in the bushes and they saw a car pull up and a guy came out and dropped my body on the side of the street. In fact, they thought I was dead. And then when they 
approached me, they realized I was alive, and then they rushed me to the hospital. They stayed with me until Tony came from Australia. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I need I need a little time to just digest this whole story. You know. But I'm here, okay? I'm back and I'm gonna take care of you. But well, I'm still scared. Hey, let me introduce this to everyone, okay? Uh, of course, you know Tony. Yeah. Uh, he didn't come for our wedding, but uh, he flew down and he knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I still have to apologize for not coming to your wedding. You know, you know it's not easy out there, okay? Uh, I was even shooting my, uh, actually, I was shooting my music video, you know? But as I speak to you, just because of the love I have for my brother, that's why I'm here, okay? I'm here to give you my word that you have nothing to worry about. I'll make it up to you guys, okay? That's the promise. Apologies accepted. Your sins are forgiven. And once again, welcome to our great country, Nigeria. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, this is Dr. Stanley. Um, he's friends with Tony from uni. He, he saved my life. I don't know what I'll do for him. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's um, Agent Humphrey. He, he uh, works for a secret service. Um, Tony hired them to get to the bottom of this. And that's um, Agent Wofai. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really do appreciate And I really want to thank God for using you to save my husband's life. You're welcome. Don't mention. Agent Humphrey. Madam, your safety is guaranteed. You have nothing to worry about. The state security service will be watching you closely. Agent Wofai here has handled worst rape cases beyond compromise. In fact, she will be following you closely any moment from now. We must get to the root of this seizure assault. Okay, madam, you'll be helping us out with some vital information on your experience. You have nothing to worry about. I want to thank you all for everything. I really do appreciate. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the care. Thank you for the support. Where do I start to tell my story from? Start from the top. Honey? <laughs> oh, okay. It's... It's the police. They said they found Deji's corpse along the bush. I'm just hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm hungry. I've heard your story. It's a bitter experience. I'm quite pathetic. I, I have been psychologically traumatized. I know. And that's why you have a professional counselor. We help in rehabilitating the victim mentally. In your own case, it's a sexual assault. And it's a crime in this country. So we advise that such case be reported so that we can punish those people who have committed the offense and to also ensure that they don't go about doing the same thing to another person. And we also have a center where we take care of victims like this. I know this can be very difficult and emotionally traumatized for you to talk about. But you have to. I have seen it all. It's quite appealing how people do get away from crime they committed. One 
Platiers. Ja? Oh, Keine Ahnung. <lacht> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, in this country, we have a criminal code, CC. And under the criminal code, rape is when a person has a sexual intercourse with either a woman or a lady without her consent or incorrectly obtain consent. Consent can be incorrectly obtained where it's obtained by force, threat, intimidation by force, or fraudulent representation as done by the act. Mm. Mm. Like it? I love it. You know, mm. this do you. You know. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, this to you is the reason that you stole my heart. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, but it tastes mm -hmm. so different. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, before I forget, we need to stock up the fridge and buy some grocery. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have a surprise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I make it a guess? Just tell me. <laughs> They're not a man, right? They're not a man, it's not a woman, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what are you checking? <laughs> okay. I am pregnant! <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two weeks gone already. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. Are you just telling me now? I actually wanted it to be a surprise. Really? Yeah. It's a boy. No, it's a girl. It's a boy. Mm -mm. A boy. Mm -mm. A boy. We talked about this. Mm? I want my dowry. My junior mm. is coming and no. it's going to be a boy. Mm -mm. A boy. We are having twin girls. Okay. Mm. Yes. A boy. You know what? You go upstairs. Yeah. Get ready. I'm expecting right. my junior. <laughs> I also have a surprise for you. Oh, you are kidding now. Absolutely. You copy me. No, no, no I'm not. I've got a surprise for you. Okay. So you have pregnant. to go. <laughs> I, I know I look pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. <laughs> ow, honey, ow. Oh, ow. sorry. Ow. My stitches. <laughs> sorry. Surprise. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You guys are amazing, by the way. Aww. First, I have to thank you guys for coming. I knew it was impromptu. Lots of messages. Thank you so much, man. This is this is a surprise birthday and also a survival birthday. Wow. We went through so much this year. Dr. Stanley, oh, what can I say, man? Thank you so much. He, he saved my life. Yeah. All right? Not once, not twice. You know, thank you so much, man, for coming through. That's my... I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. And my best friend and brother, yes, so Tony, <laughs> all the way from New York. He's a music producer, by the way, guys. So, oh, all you single ladies, I see how you look at it. I see how you look at it. Thank you so much, man. Right, right. And to my partner in crime, the woman who planned this surprise party with me, my sister in law, Dina. Guys, you must get drunk tonight, okay? Yeah, but you must get drunk tonight. Yes, that's what it is. Before then, I'm gonna give it on to my master of ceremony. Wow, 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 wow. Aren't you happy tonight? Yeah. Wow, happy! Wow, just imagine beautiful. Aww. Wow. 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 Wow.
you know, and today is the day, okay? So happy birthday. Let's invite the celebrants, okay? Let's have come about the cake, please. Yeah. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, about the cake, right? It was right. last minute, shops are closed. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> right. So at the spirit of love, she's gonna no, call no, the no, cake. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, all right, let's go. L O V E. e. Happy birthday! Congratulations! Okay, I 